Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Willie Mears and I'm so excited that you came to visit my page. I would love to be able to come and speak life into your church, life into your group, life into an event. Uh, I bring a message of hope, but I also bring a message of living a standard uh, of purity and walking it out, walking out this relationship with Christ. Um, I believe that God wants to uh, start a fire of revival in this next generation and that he's going to do that whenever people stand up and answer the call uh, to holiness, the call to purity, to live a life that God calls holy. So anyway, I would love to partner with you in your church and in your ministry to be able to bring a message of peace, a message of hope, and a message of a standard in our next generation. My identity was no longer in the fact that I was the runt of my friends. My identity was found in the authority of someone bigger than me. When Jesus stepped out of the boat into the area of the Gadarenes in Matthew chapter 8 verse 28, he was walking in the authority of someone bigger than him. Whenever he stepped out of that boat, he was no longer just a man, but he was God, and he was God's son. And there are so many of you that have walked into areas of your, maybe your campus, your work, your family, your relationship, whatever it is that's been off limits by the enemy, you've walked in with an identity that's not right. Your mind isn't right in thinking of who you are. And I just want to talk to you tonight, and I just want to tell you, my hope is that you know who you are that you walk in the authority of someone that is bigger than you. Somebody in here has been hurt before, maybe by a father or a mother or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or something. Somebody has hurt you, and now you can't make that first step because you just don't feel like you're good enough. You just don't feel like you can. There's something holding you back, and God would say, I want you to take that first step. And some of you in here, that may be true. You may not be where you want to be. You may not be where you should be, but you're not where you used to be. You're doing better than you think you are. Somebody needs to hear that in here. You're doing better than you think you are because you're not where you used to be. Can you imagine whenever somebody comes in here and they see your life and they saw who you used to be, but you're not, you may not be where you should be. You may not be where you want to be. You may not be where you've dreamt about. You may not be preaching to thousands of people like God promised you in your heart, but you're not where you used to be. You know where you were a couple of years ago, you're not where you were a few months ago, you're not where you were last week. You're doing better than you think you are. Oh, consuming fire, you're